here. If I can check something important. <laughs> I'm doing it in nighttime. He's not pro business. See, there's a person nearby. Or not to alert anyone. Hey. Funny. <laughs> ah. See it? God, what's so hard about this? Bingo. Oven boots. Seal. Oh, lovely. Now I got the complete set of elven gear. Even when it's stolen. I don't want to take from that guy. I need some more goodies for me to steal. Ah. Thank you. Food. We can't get any potions. I might as well jack the rest of this stuff. Oh, from box. Oh, I want some gold. Those aren't going to be worth it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's do some serious business. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Uh, excuse me, what sir. Do you want? Can you tell me how you met Kivar? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I have them I, right here. I, I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. Woohoo! Ocean of Brief Invisibility! Hell yeah! Uh, okay, okay. You might want to talk some sense into the Kira. The rumor's going around about how poorly your guild's been doing. She's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. And help me convince Look, her to I'm pay. I'm telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Yep. My nose clean. I'm done. Look, and hey. Here for a room or something to drink? Are you ready some coin to pay off free off what you all? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in Marlin. 
How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. The pay up and I'll forget about it. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Uh, listen to an old man. Look, I already said... Went to... I don't know, some... I don't know, that voice feels kind of del familiar. I actually went to a Disney park, if I recall correctly. Have summoned the Dragonborn to if you're looking for a room, try the B&Bar. Actually, this place is for the working man. Hundreds of years. I don't know why I bothered. I need to give it a few seconds. Don't Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. I have a message for Brynjolf. You have my statue. What are you going to do with it? So, I dropped this statue down the well. Not Lady Dibella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. What could it mean? The turn of the dragon? Found in here. Gods, it's true, isn't it? Oh no! A dragon You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? Men bring down such a beast. Until next time. Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here, take it. Thank you. Violence, no crap. Cheers. Here <laughs> to deliver some stuff. It is. Well, but to get things a bit started. I'm back. So, job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they well owed us. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. So, what's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Alright, there's more gold that where that came from. I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Uh, before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Where does your offer this Well, is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin. And I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Okay, okay, fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? After you talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. I'll work. Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Okay. I'll get to it early.
Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Quill, are you? Even our little Bex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Hooray! Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Okay, okay, let's get to the point. How do I get to the cut of the spoilers? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tanelia and the Flagger. She'll set you up with your new armor. Okay, okay. Let me get to them. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. What am I supposed to do there? Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. So, what is the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. And what makes it so important about these clients? It depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. What did I do about Argoroth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. How do I destroy the bees, highs? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, Nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. Okay. You watch yourself okay. on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Yep, I have to be a bit careful. And I guess I'd like to call this a day. Thank you guys for tuning in to my stream. This is Salty Claudius. And I'm signing out. Take care.